So today, we're diving into the foundation of it all, your money mindset and wealth building. Your mindset is the engine that drives your success or limits it. And if you've ever felt stuck, overwhelmed, or unworthy of wealth, this module is for you. There are so many principles around building wealth, making money, driving sales, shifting your mindset, and truly becoming a wealthy person inside here. There's no way I could cover it all in just one mini course, but today I'm sharing the best parts, the highlights, if you will. So I hope you're ready to dive in. First things first, I want you to really hear this. If you don't see yourself as someone who is going to be wealthy, it's not going to happen. Let me say that again in a different way. If you don't have the identity of someone destined for wealth, it simply won't come. For many of us, that's the first mental shift that we need to make. As a Christian, I grew up learning the importance of speaking what God says about me rather than dwelling on negative things I might believe about myself or what others have said about me. This principle applies not only to how we see ourselves, but also to how we perceive building wealth. The words we speak have the power to shape our reality. If you say, I'm not smart enough to figure this out, then guess what? You probably won't figure it out. If you say, I'm not good at tech, you likely won't be good at it. And if you believe you're not fit to be on camera, you probably won't ever get on camera. Whatever you say out loud becomes your reality. Now, if you can take one thing from this entire mini course, I would want it to be this. Your current reality is the result of what you believe to be possible. I want you to put this on your fridge your bathroom mirror, in your car by your speedometer. I don't care, just anywhere you can see it. Let me say it one more time. Your current reality is the result of what you believe to be possible. So we have to retrain our minds to hold different beliefs in regards to wealth. So for most of us, I think, we were told growing up to go to school, get good grades, go to college, get a nine to five, or a six to six really, have kids, buy a house, work for 40 years, retire at 67 or 70, and then die. This is their traditional freedom path. We're not harping on you for taking this path. I mean, we did. We started off on this path because like you, we had parents that ingrained this thinking into our brains. And why? Because their parents ingrained it into their brains. But our new path to freedom looks like this, working no more than 20 hours a week, being present together in the morning as a family, going to the gym in the middle of the day, running errands, whatever we need to get done, picking up our son from school, and having more than enough money so we can do what we want to do. In order to get here, though, we had to change our mindset around money and wealth. And the first thing you have to do is alter what you're willing to tolerate in your life. See, to tolerate something means to not evolve as a person. When you say, no more, you find a way to not tolerate things. So when it comes to money and how you think about money, if you say, well, that's not possible for me to make money or that kind of money, then guess what? You won't. On the other hand, if you say it is possible for me to make money or that kind of money, then guess what? You will. It's as simple as that. And look, I'm not talking about manifesting money or anything like that. I'm a Christian and I know we as Christians can have differing beliefs about money. I'm not going to get into that here. I just simply say, don't put money above God and you'll be okay. Another thing we need to address is the idea that having money somehow makes you greedy. If you believe that, money will never come to you because deep down, you don't wanna be greedy. Nobody does. So it's time to reprogram your mind. And how can you do that? So let's start with your words. What are we going to say instead of what you have been telling yourself? I am successful. It's easy for me. Money flows to me effortlessly. I know this might sound a little strange, but trust me, there's truth to it. Read books, listen to podcasts about money and wealth. Surround yourself with people that have a wealth mindset. If you think having abundance and helping others makes you greedy, then you will never achieve it. But that's a lesson for another day. If you wanna be a millionaire, you have to tell yourself you're going to be one. Remember, why you want more money in the first place? Making more money gives you more time with your family. It allows you to pour into your kids. If you've been working a regular nine to five, you may not have the time to invest in your family the way you really want to. 
So start telling yourself that your wealth journey will be easy. You're smart enough to figure it out. If other people can do it, so can you. Another crucial step that I've struggled with in the past and even now sometimes still do is seeking out failure daily. Yep, you heard that right. We're often taught that failure is bad, but in reality, it shows what not to do next time. Failure is the only way to learn what doesn't work. The more you fail, the more you evolve and become better. Megan and I have failed countless times in our lives, but each failure means we're willing to step out and try things. People who never take risks don't fail as much, but they also don't chase their dreams because they're afraid of failure and what others might think. You just need to start viewing failure differently. It's a simple mindset shift. If something fails, all that means is you're going to learn from it and not do it again. In most circumstances, especially if you live in a first world country, you have the opportunity to make money, but some people choose not to. If you have an iPhone and internet access, there's really no excuse. There are so many tools out there and people are walking you through how to do it. If you're not making money, ask yourself why? Often, it's because you don't truly want it. Maybe you're self-sabotaging it because you think making more money means harder work or sacrificing relationships. You need to design a routine that sets you up for success. For example, if you have young kids, you're probably not going to work on your business while they're awake. It's nearly impossible to film content or focus with little ones running around. So aim to work during nap time or after they go to bed. Now, I want you to ask yourself something. What's standing between me and getting this done? I want you to write down all the obstacles. Is it a lack of time? Are you self-sabotaging? Do you feel like you're not smart enough or don't have enough information? I want you to do this little exercise. This is your homework, if you will. We've included a worksheet and we want you to write down any obstacles you think are keeping you from making money. Now imagine if you could remove just one of those obstacles. Would it eliminate any others as well? The answer is usually yes. There's almost always a way to make things easier. You just have to stop wallowing in self-pity and doubt and take action. Another tip I want to share with you is give yourself extra time in case things take longer than expected and give yourself some grace, especially during busy seasons of life. To sum it up, what's standing in your way? You can't eliminate your kids, of course, but what can you eliminate to reach your goals? Can you get help from someone? Can you outsource tasks? Ask yourself, what do I need to do and who do I need to become to achieve my goals?